So I'm in the Boise airport for the first time in two years without a mask. I am on my way to Columbus, Ohio to see my family. Let's go. I got into Ohio late last night. It was like almost one o'clock when Emily picked me up from the airport. And now we are uh, going to go out for the day. Luke is working, but Sarah and Emily and the baby and I are gonna go out for brunch and then we're gonna go explore Hocking Hills. So should be a fun time. So we are on our way to Catalina's. This is a restaurant. It's a local place that Sarah has wanted to go to and has not uh, gone to yet. So we're going to check this out for brunch today. And I am just loving all of the old architecture in Columbus. So this place is not very big. It does have outdoor seating and a little bit inside, but if you come at a popular time, then you're probably gonna have to wait. It took us just a few minutes to find a table outside and we ordered three different things so that we could all share them and taste different things. We got the breakfast chickwitch, the breakfast tacos with elote, which is Mexican corn on the cob. And we got their famous pancake balls filled with dulce de leche and with their sweet and spicy bacon and a side of purple hash. And honestly, it was all amazing. We weren't disappointed in anything. Hawking Hills State Park and there is no charge to come here. They have this beautiful visitor center with information about the area inside and lots of trails to hike.
se sakurate yaseni to start the rebuilding of life the roads that they open on the knee when the old ones gone on the night and i can feel the sun on my skin I didn't close out yesterday, but we just came back from Hawking Hills and then we just got some pizza and relaxed the rest of the evening. It is now the next day and we are headed to the Columbus Zoo, which is the Jack Hanna Zoo. And so it'll be my first time going there. And it is a beautiful day, sunny, and it's going to be like 85. So it's going to be warm, but let's go see some animals.
So we have been at the zoo for about four hours. We have walked about three miles. We've only seen about half of the zoo, but we are hot and we are getting tired and we are getting hungry. So we are going to head out and get some dinner. So it is now Sunday. I've done a terrible job at vlogging. And so this morning we went to church. Then we went to see one of Luke's games. He coaches basketball. So I'll put a little footage from that in here. But now Sarah, Emily, and Christopher and myself are going to go check out this park. It's called Topiary Park or also old deaf school park because there used to be an old deaf school here so let's go check it out it is a recreation of an impressionistic painting and i'll have to put that here because i can't remember what it is
So it is my last day here in Columbus and we are at Innes Woods Metro Gardens and it is just a beautiful cloudy day but it's not raining and it's warm and just a great day to walk around. This is a good a day as any To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my skin I really enjoyed this park. There were so many different and varied areas to explore and it was all beautiful in its own way. I think one of my favorite areas was the little secret garden area, but I really loved it all. And it's completely free to visit this park, so I would highly recommend it. 
And now we are going to head out and we are going to go get a late lunch at La Chatelaine French Bakery and Bistro. This is somewhere that Sarah likes and has wanted to bring me to. So looking forward to this. Well, we had a great dinner and we made it back to the house just before the rain hit. So, here I am in Las Vegas. And you're probably wondering how I got to Las Vegas. Well, my flight yesterday got uh, delayed and I wasn't able to leave last night. So, they put me on different flights today. So I went to Chicago, to Las Vegas, and then to Boise. So uh, I'm here. For <laughs> I'm here for a couple of hours, and then I'll get on the plane to Boise. finally made it to Boise. It's only been like a 12 hour travel day. I am so excited to be home. I still have about an hour drive. Well, I'm going to cut in here. This is future me. And I realized while I was editing this video that I did not close out the vlog. When I got home, I was just wiped out. We got home about eight o'clock at night and it had been a really long day of travel so I just crashed and completely forgot about closing out the vlog so I'm happy to be home I had a great trip a wonderful time spending uh, time with family and just doing some fun things and I would highly recommend uh, checking out some of the free things to do in Columbus there were lots of parks places you could uh, hike and bike and just uh, enjoy nature and uh, it's beautiful uh, in its own way you know it's different than Idaho Idaho has lots of big mountains but uh, Columbus just had a lot of really uh, beautiful places the zoo was lots of fun although that's not a free activity but um, there's just so many things to do there so um, it was a great visit and I'm looking forward to the next time I get to go back so Thank you so much for coming along with me on this trip. Hopefully next time Chris will be able to go as well. And so if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps our channel and be sure to subscribe because we do have some adventures planned for uh, the summer and into the fall and we will be vlogging those. So make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell and set your notifications so that YouTube will notify you when we upload new videos. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.